warning. If the topic of psychological manipulation and emotional enslavement of women offends you, I want you to stop watching this video. And if you want to continue, you must agree never to use this knowledge to hurt women. Deal? Great. Let's start. All right, so you had a huge fight with her. It was bitter and ugly. You've said some really mean things to her. She's angry and has stopped taking your calls and replying to your texts. You know what? Fights are part and parcel of every relationship. Please don't blame yourself because it's not your fault at all. It happens even to the best of us. So just relax. What's important, however, is to know how to recover from the situation. In this video, I'm going to show you a brand new technique which you can use for great results today. If you want to know how to make her miss you after a fight, then this is the right place. Before I share with you that technique, may I ask a huge favor from you? Help me out by clicking like because that will really encourage me to produce more of these videos for you in the future. Look for the like button and click it now, all right? Done clicking like? Great, let's continue. First of all, let me ask you this. How long has it been after the fight? One day? Five days? A week? What you need to do is take some time out and stop contacting her for at least five days. This cool off period is important because of two reasons. One, it will sober you up so that you can keep a cool head later and two, it will calm her down and maybe even make her miss you a little. Make sense? And you know what? Even if she initiates contact with you within the first five days, ignore her. Don't pick up her call or reply to her text. Just give her the cold shoulder. Trust me on this, all right? And once the fifth day is up, then you can spring into action. What I want you to do is to run the fractionation routine on her. If you're not familiar with fractionation, don't worry. Here's the short version, which will bring you up to speed. Fractionation is a mind control tactic which gets a woman emotionally addicted to a man. It's the same technique used by writers and movie makers to make women addicted to romance novels and Hollywood chick flicks. You can use the same strategy to create the same effect on women. And guess what? Fractionation works extremely well on girlfriends or wives. Why? Well, it's because of one reason. She has a long history with you, which means that there will be lots of past experiences which you can use to create fractionation routines with. So here's what you need to do. First, I want you to write a list of memorable experiences that she has had with you in the past. These can be both happy or sad. Remember to choose memories or experiences which are especially intense. Write them down. Here's the fractionation process that works. One. First, remind her of an intensely memorable, happy experience that you shared with her. Two, then remind her of an intensely memorable, sad experience you shared with her. Three, after that, repeat with a happy experience and then a sad experience. What you're doing is that you're bringing her through an emotional roller coaster. You're making her recall all the sad and happy moments she had shared with you in the past. As you'll see, this is similar to the plot of a Mills and Boone novel or a romance movie and is what makes them so addictive to women. What you're going to do is equally effective over text or face-to-face. -face. If you're texting her, then your message could be something along these lines. Remember our first date? God, I was so awkward then. I almost tripped over when I brought you your ice cream. Remember that? Or, remember the time we went for a picnic and the car broke down and then it started to rain? God. We were entirely drenched from the downpour. Get it? When done properly, she will then start missing you because of the past memories that will flood into her mind. And when this happens, she will come crawling back into your arms before you know it. And guess what? You can take things to the next level and make her so emotionally addicted to you that leaving you will never cross her mind again. All you need to do is to apply fractionation again and again until she surrenders to you. Heart, body, and soul. Awesome, right? There's a slight catch, however. If you want to use fractionation to enslave a woman to you, it can get a little complicated. To learn how to use fractionation at its maximum effectiveness, watch until the end of the video. You'll find a cool free resource where you'll learn how to use fractionation properly in a masterclass setting. 
When used correctly, fractionation can get a woman under your control, enslave her, and make her fall in love with you far quicker than the usual pickup artist tricks. I have to warn you, though, that it is not possible to undo the effects of fractionation. Once you have enslaved a woman using this technique, dumping her will cause irreparable damage to her psychology. Therefore, please use this technique responsibly and ethically. To learn how you can use Shogun Method and Fractionation to manipulate a woman's mind and enslave her to you emotionally, go to FractionationHypnosis.com or click on this link right now.